Hey, what's up, awesome developers, and welcome back to another project on React Native. So, in this video, we are going to build a quiz application using React Native and Expo framework. And other than that, we are going to use some other libraries like React Native Navigation in order to navigate between between different screens and React Native Progress to show the progress of our quiz. Okay, so now let us move to the demo part. Here you can see on the screen we have the splash screen, and it contains an image and an instructions label and three instructions below it so each quiz has four options quiz progress will be shown at the top and score would be shown at the end of the quiz and below that we have a start button so once a user press, presses the start button they would be navigated to the uh, quiz screen where the actual questions would be loaded from this uh, quiz set so the first question would be loaded initially so now let us say that as soon as i press the start button we have our first question so we, on the top we have the progress bar which indicates the current progress of the quiz currently most of it is empty because we are at the initial phase of the quiz and we have the question and we have four options attached to this question so there is one correct answer and as to the three are incorrect answers and below that we have a next button which is to navigate to the next question okay so now let me uh, select an incorrect answer in order to show the functionality so once i press an incorrect answer all the three answer would be disabled okay we cannot select the uh, any other now so this is the uh, selected option now so which is the incorrect answer and once we select an incorrect answer the background option would be turned to red and in case of correct answer it would turn to green i will show you that in the next question so let us move to the next question and once we move to the next question you would see that the progress bar has been increased the progress of the progress bar has been increased okay so as you can see the progress has increased and now let me select a correct answer what is virtual dom it is a representation of a dom and as soon as i select the correct option the background color of the option turns to green which indicates that it is a correct answer okay now i cannot select any other option so now let us move to the next question and you can also choose to not to answer any question so in that case you won't be getting any error or you won't we won't stop you from navigating to uh, another question without without even answering the this currently loaded question so we can easily navigate to the next question if we don't want to answer it so now difference between react and react native so react is for web and native is for mobile and it is correct hence we got a green background purpose of use state is to manage state and see this is the last question right so the progress bar has been completely filled and instead of the next button we got a finish button okay which indicates that this is the end of the quiz and once we press on the finish button we would be navigated to this uh, score screen where you would be see uh, seeing how many points you have scored so let me finish it and you can see we have scored 30 points and in this screen we have an image okay and below that we have the message which shows how, uh, how much how much uh, points we have scored and below that we have another uh, we have a button called play again so in in case you didn't score well you can try playing again so let me press on it again and here we are utilizing the react native navigation library to uh, go back to the previous screen to the main screen instead so let me press the play again and here we are again back to the main screen and you can start playing again okay so this time let us correctly fill the answer a uh, ui library for javascript representation of the dom uh, to render ui and we correct uh, we answered all the all the questions correctly so we are going to score 50 points so there are five questions in total each answer has 10 correct points so we scored 50 points right so now yeah so this was it for the quiz application and now the first part that we are going to do is we're going to set up our navigation basically stack navigator so and before that yeah we need to set up our project so for that uh, i'm going in my code snippets folder you can choose any folder you want to and now we are going to run the expo command and now to create a brand new expo project we are going to run a command npx create expo app and now we need to name our project so i would name it let's say quiz buzz you can name it whatever you want and it would take some time to configure everything
meanwhile uh, let us go to the react native documentation so this is the react native documentation that we will be using in order to implement the stack navigation in our uh, project and uh, it is completely an awesome uh, documentation so you can go over to read docs so i will walk you through the necessary dependencies that we need to install in an expo managed product and uh, yeah so by that we are going to set it up so meanwhile our project is also ready so let me run it first go to cd quiz buzz and let me run ios so if you are using android you can run npm run android for in my case i would run ios let me press i to open is simulator and over here you can see we have a brand new project and this is the is coming from our quizbus project itself so let me uh, import it to the vs code here is our quizbus project yeah so here we have the blank template and let me open a terminal in to install uh, dependencies of react native navigation so here you can see uh, they have mentioned that if we are using an expo managed project we need to run these two commands so this is basically the react native screens and react native safe area context so let us run them So these two packages are being installed and they are uh, installed now and now they have mentioned that uh, we can now continue to the react navigation to start writing some navigation code so let us head over to it and over here they are telling us to install the stack navigator library okay so in order to install the stack navigator we need to run these commands and let me run this Yeah, so our stack has also been installed and uh, now what we need to do is basically they're telling us to create a native stack navigator okay so this is the nat uh, native stack navigator uh, which basically contains the navigation tree okay so uh, we are we use basically this function in order to create the stack okay so it provides us with the navigation container which basically uh, wraps all the tree and it, and it contains the state of our navigation okay so now what we need to do is we need to basically first copy this file head over to your app make a folder of src so now let us create a navigation folder inside it and another folder would be screens and one folder for components if we are going to use any though i don't think we are going to make any separate component so inside this navigation we are going to create another file called app navigator and we are going to paste the code that we just copied from this library okay and over here we are going to remove the unnecessary stuff so here uh, we are going to use this create native stake navigator method from the library that we installed and it basically gives us the stack and on this stack we have a uh, navigator and screens so basically inside this navigator wrapper we can paste and as many screen as we want so all our screens that are related to a particular stack we can paste it over here you can add it over here okay and uh, this is the navigation container which i told that contains the entire state of our navigation tree and now what we need to do is we need to create some screens so let me first create a splash screen another one would be question
now we have two screens and we can check if we are going to navigate smoothly so let me splash here we are going to give the name of the screen and here we are going to import the actual screen itself so it is splash and this name is important because when we are going to navigate from one screen to another we while navigating we have to provide the name okay so let me show you so we have one screen called splash and the another one is question screen right so from the splash you are going to navigate to the question screen right so while navigating you have to provide the name this particular name in the splash screen while navigating so that the stack navigation knows that what screen you are being navigated to okay what screen you want to navigate to and we do not need this home screen and the navigation part i will show it more clearly once we actually implement the navigation code so we have added these two screens in our code and now let us run our app again okay we need to add the uh, navigator here itself and over here what we are going to return is we are going to return the navigator so it's not navigator it's app navigator somehow it is not coming up what is the name okay it is app navigator and export default app navigator and over here what we are going to do is we are going to get it okay this this style sheet is useless we will remove that we don't need it and as you can see we have our splash screen being uh, being showed up over here so because in the navigator the top screen is splash so the very first screen that gets showed up on the ui is splash if you change the order of it then the first screen we are going to see is it would be the uh, question screen okay let me refresh it yeah you can see we have the question screen okay by the way i refresh by double pressing uh, the r but r key on the keyboard but now we want only the splash screen to be shown on top so i will again reverse the order I don't know why it is not refreshing automatically okay so yeah we have the splash screen and on the splash screen if I create a pressable and if I pass a test which is called go to questions so we are going to style the pressable uh, in the actual project itself so this is just for the understanding the navigation part so i have this pressable and on on press what we are going to do is we are going to navigate to the quiz screen so let me first import the navigation so here you can see i have extracted the navigation probe so when you register screens like this they all have access to this navigation probe okay because this is used to navigate to the <coughs> different screens so now you can use navigation dot navigate and you can pass the screen name so as i told that uh, whatever name we pass over here we need to uh, use it while navigating <coughs> so here we have uh, added the question and now once i press this see we are redirected to the question screen okay so this was it for the uh, stack navigator in this project so this is how you add a stack navigator to your react native applications those are built using uh, expo okay so again let me put a recap we first what we did is we basically added a navigation folder inside this we have an app navigator and we have installed certain uh, dependencies which are basically used to navigate from one screen to different screen and the first library is native and the, another one is native stack which gives us a function called create native stack navigator and this function returns us the stack object and on this we can call the screen and the stack navigator okay 
so we are going to see uh, what uh, this stack navigator does so let's say you need to pass a function of call let's say header shown screen options and it is header header shown and let's say I uh, turn it to false then no header would be shown okay so now what is this navigator so when you pass when you need to implement uh, every functionality for all the screens then what you do is you basically pass this screen options over here okay because now let's say you want to hide the header from every screen screen so instead of passing individually or on this screens what we do is we basically pass it on the navigator itself okay now the uh, header from each screen would be gone but currently i do not want this so what i do is i would remove it okay and similarly if you just want to remove the header from the uh but this particular screen you can uh, add an option over here to uh, remove the header okay and you can read there are tons of uh, options tons of properties you can basically read this how to configure your navigation okay this is a very useful documentation so you can go over to it and read it so in this video this is only this is it for the navigation part and in our next video what we are going to do is we are going to basically and now what we are going to do is we are going to basically design this splash screen okay